Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing some more cursive letters. This time we're going to be doing the capital letters, the uppercase. Now, we've touched on these. It should be review, but if there's a letter that you don't quite get, stop and practice, okay? All right, get a piece of paper out and make sure you're following along. All right, let's start with our first one, A. Our A looks exactly like our lowercase a. Okay. You start like it's a C and you come around and you close it in, A. Okay. B. Okay. Now, I know it says to do a shepherd's crook. Not a lot of people do it, but we're going to do a shepherd's crook. Then we're going to come up make go, make a loop, make a loop in the middle, come around, kick it out, okay? I've also made it without the shepherd's crook and just made it look like the beginning of a cursive one. Then come up and then do it that way, okay? I know it's not the best, I'm sorry. This is I'm trying to show you and move out of the way and it's not the very best, I apologize. That's your capital B, okay? Your C looks just like the lowercase c. Some people put the little thing on the beginning of it, okay? right here, you don't have to. As long as you follow along, make it look like a C. All right, now the D. This is the one that some of us get in trouble with. So or have trouble with. So let's look at this. I'm going to come down. You can make it a straight line if you want to, but you come around, make a curly Q, then you come around and you close it in. Okay? It almost looks like you have a little ponytail in the back and you have a little curly Q on the top. Let me try it again for you. You come down, Make a curly Q and then come up and make the one on top. This one's fat, this one's skinny. Try to get right in between. Okay. I just want to show you how to do the strokes correctly. All right. This one's not very good. I'm not very impressed with that one. All right. Next one E. I just come around like you're making a C, but then you kick it in in the middle and make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. That's an E. Okay, it looks like a C, it's just that it's got, it kicks in right there in the middle. That's an E. Now, the next one is, I love this letter, it's a lot of fun. It's actually two strokes. Now, ready? You have to make your top. I made my top. Then you come down, it's actually three strokes, like this, like a fish hook. That's actually a T. The difference between a T and an F is right there. That makes it an F. Okay, let's practice that one again. I make my top. You can make it as fancy as you want to. Then come down, make your fish hook. That's a T. And then if you want to make an F, you put a line right there in the middle. Okay. Okay, G. Now, your G starts at the bottom, at the very bottom. You come up and you make a loop. It's like the opposite of your D. Instead of going down, you go up. Then you come up and you make a point, like you're making an S, come up and then bring it back around and make a fish hook. That's your G. Let's try that again. You start up, you make your loop, come around, make a fish hook, and you have a G. Okay? All right, next one, H. This one's fun. You just make a she shepherd's crook, you make a backward shepherd's crook, then you come up and make a loop in the middle. Okay. Now, the I, 
it does it it shows you by doing it make like an go from the bottom and go like that I actually go from this side and go up I don't care either way as long as it looks like this I do it like this because then I can keep going I start at the midline and make my my fish hook and then come up and then I can continue writing I don't have to stop okay all right let's erase this I let's do some J a J you make it like it's a fat L okay J you come up he's fat but then he comes down and makes a monkey tail okay now, it kind of looks like a G, doesn't it? But it goes all the way up to the top line. Okay? All right. Don't make it as fat as a G. K. Oh, that's my favorite. Now, a K, they want you to use a shark birch crook. Okay? And then you come up and you bring it in and then you kick it out okay when i make my k because my name's kathy keith i make k's quite a bit capital k's i don't do that i just i just make it like this and then i kick it in and kick it out okay with your k you kick it in and you kick it out j k l oh this is my favorite letter Okay, I love this L. I come up, I make a loop, then I come down, make another loop, and come around. This goes underneath. Okay, so let me try that again. I make a loop forward, I come down, make a backward loop, and then come around. And you can go ahead and you can um, connect it if you want to. I don't like to because I think it looks awkward connected. I like to come up and make my L and then continue on. Okay. Then we have our capital M. Now, when I make my capital M, I come make a little like shepherd's crook, then I come up and make two humps. Now you're like, but Mrs. Keith, the littler case has three humps. Well, we include that shepherd's hook as part of the as part of the humps. Okay, so it's one, two, three. I've also done it like this. That looks like an M. Okay. Either way works, okay? All right, now that's half of the alphabet. We'll do the next half next time. All right, thank you.